Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Dog Craft. So I am making good on a promise that I've made in past episodes to come back and retrieve the elusive French Bulldog. And by elusive, I- oh, well, there it is. <laughs> I was just about to explain that elusive means uh, difficult to find, um, not very out in the open, kind of hidden. Uh, but here you are. Hello. How are you? Stop. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tame you. And let's go ahead and give you uh, one. Oh, you have a little tail. I hope it wags. Two. Oh, there it is. Oh, hello. Uh, okay, let's give you the yellow collar, um, and let me leash you up, like, stop jumping around. Um, there, I think I, I think I leashed her. Nope, don't think I did. Everyone always gets mad at me when I say I can't tell that I leashed them. Uh, I really can't tell. Um, I don't know how I'm supposed to tell, but there, I've leashed her, and someone actually in another episode told me that... The copious dog's leashes aren't like the uh, the regular leads in Minecraft. They will never uh, uh, break. Uh, you know, sometimes the leads in Minecraft will, if you go too many blocks, uh, they'll break. But these leashes, bam, uh, you are leashed to me. So that is good to know. And um, I'm going to use that when I go home. Um, oh no, is the sun already going down? That's not good. Here, I'm going to try to tame you too. I want two so that I can breed them and make a puppy. Uh, there you go. Um, blue collar. And I'm not wasting any time. I'm going to leash you too. And we're going to go. Um, and let me turn my coordinates on and try to get back to my home uh, as fast as possible now and on the way I will tell you a story um, but first let me tell you what I'm going to name these dogs and let me try to figure out which way I need to be going uh, this way this way this way this way hurry 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 oh I can't believe that I didn't um, I normally wait for day oh I hope we don't die uh, so it is so hard to think of, not to think of, to decide on the names for these dogs. You guys all leave such amazing names. I'm just going to check. Oh, no, look, we only have one of, oh, no, there he is. <laughs> uh, oh, we have a village. Maybe we'll come, did we, oh, I think we passed this village, but I don't think we raided it. Maybe, hello, page-like dog. Maybe we should raid this village. I won't take the crops, but let's see if there's, um, let's see if there's a blacksmith here that we could potentially, hi, villagers. Oh, I wish I had Wink with me. Wink, I keep meaning to take Wink to a village so all the villagers can give us presents. <gasps> I'm gonna bring Wink back here, guys. I am. Uh, okay. So, oh, there's a, a library. I could get the bookcases. Should I get the bookcases? No, we better hurry. We need to hurry. Um, okay, let's see. Should we be going this way or this way? Towards the sun. No, we need to be going down on all of our... Um, this way, this way, this way. Hurry, guys. Oh, no. All right, this is the right way, except that we just have so far to go. Um, I'm not really sure if it's going to make much sense to... Uh, we basically have to walk uh, many, many blocks in this direction, is it? Can I get my ex to stop moving? Hi, pig. Um, all right, let me just kill these guys. Uh, let's go this way, I suppose, for now. Did one of my dogs just fall off a cliff? <gasps> no, 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 no. Uh. 
Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, we still have both of them. Uh, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> uh, I got really, really scared there for a minute. I didn't want to talk. Uh, I don't even think I'm going in the right direction now. I just want to get out of here. Come on, guys. Come on. Yay. We made it finally. Now we just have to come down this little bit here without them taking damage. Come on, guys. This is the agility course. I'm not sure if you'll be able to do it because you're rather small. Um, but you could give it a go in the future. Who knows? You know, you guys might be able to do it. Uh, okay, so let's make sure that there's not any, uh, any creepers around here, uh, after the last episode. I still haven't completely fixed this back here, so it is open. Um, oh, actually, you know what? First, uh, now that we're here in the, uh, the center, I guess I can unleash you guys. So there you go. You're free. Check it out. Um... And what I want to do, actually, wait, are you still leashed? You're still leashed. Unleash. Unleash. <laughs> uh, okay, what I want to do is I want to make a little puppy baby. And I don't know if this is going to actually look like a baby because they are so tiny, right? I'm thinking that uh, it might just look like a, a, a regular French bulldog because they... <gasps> Look at him go! He okay. Never mind. I take it back. Uh, here, have a cookie, and then you come over here, and you have a cookie. <gasps> oh my gosh! It is. Oh, come here, guy. Little. Uh, oh, he's glitched in the wall. Um. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's so adorable. Let me see if I can get his um, his mom and his dad leashed. And then, oh, hi. Do you even have eyes? Hi, oh, you're so tiny. <laughs> uh, okay, let me leash you back up because I'm going to bring you to your pen and you. Uh, come over here. Look at the little baby. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to have to come back for him. I'm going to have to get another collar. I hope he doesn't drown. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and bring his parents into their pens. And it is so hard to choose names from all the ones that are suggested in the comments. They are all so good. Uh, it really is hard to decide. Um, I'm going to go ahead and name uh, the boy uh, French Bulldog. I'm going to name uh, Pudgy, which I thought was really, really cute. Um, and I have a story about Pudgy, though, actually. Uh, Panda Love, who suggested this name, it sounds as if her dog, uh, it's a, uh, she said that it does something really, really cute where it scoots on the ground. Um, okay, actually, no, never mind. Hold on. We're going to save that story for a minute, and this is going to be the girl uh, French Bulldog's name because that's the one that I could get into the pen. And she is going to be named uh, Celeste, which I thought was really pretty. So there you go. You're Celeste, and then you are Mr. Pudgy, and you need to come over. Oh, did I unleash Celeste? I'm not sure. Um, you need to come in here. Here you go. All right. Close this gate. Close the gate. Why can't I close the gate? Okay, there. Um, unleash you. And you're going to be pudgy. Now, yeah, the commenter uh, said that her dog does this really cute thing where he scoots along the floor on his bottom. Uh, however, uh, in a segment that I'm going to call TMI Molly, uh, I have some experience with this with my dog Molly, uh, where she used to scoot on the floor, and what I found out is that it is a, uh, it's actually a small problem. Dogs have these glands inside of their bottoms, and, um, oh, you were leashed, come on. And they're filled with these uh, oils that smell like them. And if you ever notice when dogs meet each other, they always want to smell each other's behinds. That is because they are smelling the scent that is in these glands. But with a lot of small dogs, what can happen is those glands can fill up, uh, which is kind of gross, and they need to be uh, expressed, which basically is a fancy name for a vet actually squeezing the glands inside their their little bottoms and uh, squeezing out the excess oil. 
this is so disgusting. I don't know why I'm telling this story in Dogcraft. Uh, but that is the truth. And uh, Molly, uh, boy, Molly had uh, a real issue. Uh, and she had to have her her glands expressed at the vet. And the vet said that they had never seen anything like it and that it shot across the room. Uh, and it was pretty gross. So, well done, Molly. Uh, I'm going to make a collar right now for the baby. Uh, as you can see, I've rebuilt this area from the the terrible creeper accidents from last episode. Um, and I've added a ladder here, uh, which I think is really great just to go up to the second level here. And then the staircase that I'm going to work on over there. Uh, so that it is completely creeper proof will be the only way to get up to the second level. Uh, and I left a, a pen open here in case you were wondering. I left a pen open right here. And that is going to be for uh, a puppy of the um, the Doug and Paige variety. Uh, so let me go ahead and give Celeste her bowl uh, there. And I want to make sure though that I leave enough time to go over and uh and get the puppy um oh i have a blue bowl but it's not a light blue bowl let me actually oh i don't think i have enough iron to make uh another no i definitely don't wait do i no i was gonna say i have some smelting over there but i'm pretty sure it was only six so then that would be seven and i need eight um, okay, so for now, um, Pudgy's gonna have, like, a dark blue bowl, uh, until I can switch it for a light blue bowl. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is, Pudgy. You're just gonna have to deal with that. And then let's get the red bowl in here all ready for the puppy. Uh, once we go and, uh, I don't know if you can actually tame a puppy. I'm hoping that you can. I'm hoping that he hasn't, uh, drowned or run away or something. Let me see if I... Oh, here you are! You're so tiny! <laughs> Wait, come back! Come back! Uh, okay, let me uh, get the biscuits and the collar and my leash. And I'm going to tame you. So there you go. There you go. You're wagging your tail. And, uh, wait, come back, come back. Red collar on you. Uh, and there. And I am going to name this guy... Uh, is that, see, I didn't leash him. What are you, where are you hiding? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna name this guy Croissant. I thought that that was a really cute, uh, French name for a French bulldog. So this is little puppy Croissant. Look, he's so cute. And, um, oh no! Look over there, do you see the creeper? We're gonna have to go kill that creeper. We cannot have a creeper in the Quonset. I'm going to torch up this place off camera. I promise I'm gonna do that. Um, all right, there's the puppy. So let's see if we can get him in here. Come on, little puppy croissant. I'm going to name you right now. Oh, I don't have a sign in here. Let me come borrow the sign from over here. There we go. Grab this sign. And then if you would please follow me, follow me croissant into here c-r-o-i-s-s-a-n-t -S i believe croissant come on there we go all right unleash you and then i'm actually gonna go and make sure that he's not following me nope he's not following me okay so i'm going to go quickly to the safety of my home uh, and I'm going to just go to sleep. It is, uh, time for sleeping. Oh, no! Croissant was leashed to me still! <sighs> okay, well, you know what? Croissant, you're just going to... You're gonna stay in here for a while. Maybe that's for the best. While you're a puppy, you should stay in here. Look how cute he is! I hope nothing bad can happen to him. I don't think anything can. He's so little. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's head up to the Dalmatian Plantation. And um, we're going to be uh, naming another dog here in our quest to get 101 dogs for the Dalmatian Plantation. And today we are adding Matthew because he sent me this very, very good drawing of myself in my Mickey Mouse ears at Disneyland uh, with Stampy Cat. 
And I think this is the first time I'd ever gotten uh, artwork that was based off of one of my vlogs, not one of my uh, Minecraft episodes. And I thought that that was so cool. Uh, he obviously watched my vlog on my vlog channel. I'll have a link in the description of when I went to Disneyland uh, with my friend Joe, who's known as Stampy Cat. And so he drew this picture and the detail is really amazing. And, you know, we went on the, uh, the big Thunder Mountain Railroad roller coaster and the Enchanted Tiki Room. So thank you. Matt. Uh, that was really cool to see uh, artwork of my actual life. <laughs> uh, and so I'm going to breed uh, Pongo and Perdita if I can find... Oh, here's Pongo at the food. Um, and we'll make little puppy Matthew. Welcome, Matthew. Uh, okay, and now let's go down and look at the artwork and then we're going to actually start a new project, which I'm very, very excited about. Uh, and I hope that you guys like it too. Uh, okay, so today's artwork has a theme. So many people uh, sent me artwork that was based off of last week's episode with the running of the yellow sheep. And I have to say that I messed up. I said that the running of the bulls was in Italy. Uh, this was just one of those weird moments that I had a, a brain freeze. I know that the running of the bulls takes place in uh, Spain. It's actually uh, in Pamplona, Spain. So I'm very, very sorry for uh, telling you guys the wrong location for the running of the bulls. But thank you for all of the running of the sheep uh, artwork. I really, really enjoyed uh, seeing all of that. Hello, Paige and Molly. I need to get you guys back upstairs. Go say hi to Croissant. You're being rude. Uh, all right, so today we are going to start a brand new project. First of all, just take a look again at the bark all restored. I think it looks really good, actually. Um, and I made this for leashes here. Uh, and then over here, I put in the pork in there. So that's kind of how I'm going to do it now. And I think it looks really, really good. Uh, okay, oh, beware of that creeper. I saw a creeper here. I don't know if he's still here. Hopefully he despawned. What are you doing here, pig? Uh, okay, hi, Wink. Hello. I almost shot Wink. Uh, there. I want to sit him up. So I have some tools here for what we're going to be doing. Uh, first things first, I need to start dyeing uh, some of my sheep with the dyes because they're all yellow and I'm going to want different colored wool for the project that I'm about to start. So I'm going to just... Hi, Noah. Hello, Everest. Let me sit you guys up. Uh, I'm going to just come in here and uh, change some of them, sadly, from yellow uh, to different colors. So let's go ahead and make you blue and make you light blue. Uh, magenta, purple. Got a couple white ones for some white wool and an orange one. <gasps> oh, no, Oreo. You're meant to be uh, you're meant to be black. Oh, Oh, this is festive, though. Um, the dogs are looking at the sheep. Get away, dogs. Get away. Do not eat the sheep. Let me see what happens if I hit a pig. I'm sorry, pig. Had to do it. Whoa. Go, Wink. Wink. Wink's, uh, Wink's raring to go. Oh, the pig's on fire, and the pig has been cooked. That was uh, a little disturbing, but, you know. Uh, okay, so if I just come over here and get my shears, uh, then I can start getting a lot of this wool for the project that we're going to be working on. And we're not going to finish it in this episode. It's definitely going to be something that we'll do, um, that we'll finish up in the next episode. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is we are going to be building a summer attraction. Uh, it is summer right now. It's very, very hot. I'm not sure if it's hot where you live. Uh, I would love to know where you live in the comments. Let me know if it's summertime where you live as well right now. Uh, but for those who live in the U.S. especially, it is very, very hot right now in most parts of the country. And so we are going to make uh, a summery attraction uh, right out here behind the, uh, the hydrant here. Uh, we're going to be making, are you ready? Can you guess? I, d I bet you can't guess. Guess in the comments right now. I have wool. Uh, okay, I'll, 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 we'll make this a game. It's going to be using dispensers, water, and wool, and pressure plates. Okay, I'm going to tell you. 
we are going to be making a splash pad. And if you don't know what a splash pad is, it is a place where uh, there's like lots of different fountains that come up out of the ground. And it's basically like running through the sprinklers. Um, but you're, you know, you're not in the grass. You're at like a, a park. Uh, so to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to use dispensers and we're also going to use uh, buckets of water. So I'm going to get uh, a couple more buckets of water but we're just going to start the basic design for this uh in this episode and then uh in the next episode we'll really really flush it out and and completely finish it but i just want to show you guys the design for it today uh so i'm going to make a bunch of pressure plates and the way this is going to work is um i'm going to dig down i haven't decided the exact pattern that i'm going to do yet but well, essentially, we will put a dispenser in the ground like that, and then in the dispenser, we'll put a bucket of water, and then all around the dispenser, we'll dig out um, the ground, and we'll put in some kind of wool pattern. I just haven't decided exactly what the pattern will be yet, um, but here, we can, we can put in some purple ones like there, 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 and there, and then um, do I have four of any other color? I guess, oh, well, yellow. Um, so then we'll put yellow there, 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 and there. And again, I don't think this is going to be the exact pattern. Um, I'm going to kind of come up with a, a color scheme that I like. Uh, but I just want to show you how it will work. So the water needs to kind of come up and, uh, and you know, be able to, to come up in a fountain. So you have to basically put pressure plates on all sides of the dispenser and that's what's going to allow the water to come up but not spread everywhere. So who wants to try it out first? Noah? You? Is it going to be you? Okay. It's, oh, nope. It's going to be Wink. There he did it. And you got wet but you didn't really, you didn't shake off. You're supposed to shake off. It's not working. Come here, guys. You got wet. You're okay. So anyway, in the next episode, you will see uh, that when they're everywhere, the dogs will be able to run in and out and the water will come up and down. Uh, we might even put like maybe some maybe we can get like some note blocks going or something so that they make sounds as well. Um, but all the water will come up and then down and then the dogs will actually shake off, too, when they get wet. I don't know why they're doing it, not doing it right now. Let me break up a, a pressure pad and let the water go out. See, if you do that, it just causes a huge mess. Uh, so that's why we definitely have to have the pressure pads um, everywhere down there. So like there. Uh, and then when the dogs, there, then they'll shake like that. Um, so it's going to be really fun. Oh, dear. I've messed up the water over here. I'm going to have to fix that. But anyway, we will um, get to work on the actual mechanics of the splash pad uh, in the next episode. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog.